Astrotometry Log. It is April 4th, 2010. It's approximately 1247 UTC. This is a follow-up on the earthquake forecast from the last video. And just after I posted this watch, there was a large increase in x-ray activity. Usually when we see one of these spikes, it's a smaller area under the curve than this. This is a significant amount of energy, increase in energy, and this is something that wasn't expected but could have been anticipated from this coronal mass ejection on April 3rd. And this uh, CME is now arriving in um, a, a burst from Sunspot 1059. And I mentioned in the previous logs that once the solar cycle gets started, the technique becomes a lot more difficult because as these sunspots eject the uh, parts of the solar corona, the interference patterns with the uh, coronal holes is much more difficult to anticipate. And so here's the coronal hole that the forecast is based on. And if I had been watching this little region down here, I would have noticed this flare. You'll see the flare uh, coming up right there. That's the point where there was a mass of high energy particles ejected from the sun. And these particles pushed through the particles that will be arriving, the magnetic, the magnetic disturbance with the electrons that will be arriving from this um, uh, disturbance. And so these push through this, and I don't know, uh, I don't have enough case study to know how this is going to affect the forecast. And so I'm not going to cancel this watch like I did with the last one that uh, seemed to be in California. I'm going to keep the watch up. But this, this kind of um, calls into question whether or not there's going to be a quake, which is good news for anyone here in California. And so I'm, I'm fairly excited about this. Uh, the prospect of this, uh, this what would have been, um, uh, if this had not happened, a more definite uh, sort of thing. Now, it's possible that what's happening right now is that the Earth is pushing against, if you understand the concept of hypertime, that the San Andreas Fault is actually pushing against the influence from uh, the, the would-have-been changes from the previous quake. In other words, there's a momentum that is that is pushing now, maybe on the San Andreas Fault, and that this disturbance is the um, is the San Andreas Fault pushing back. And so there's this feedback through hypertime that we might be seeing uh, here in the form of uh, this coronal mass ejection. And so that's the sort of loop that happens through time space that astrotometry is pointing out in the dynamic between uh, the Sun and the Earth system. And so hopefully uh, this um, event will be either lessened or, um, or nullified by, by this interference from this, this coronal mass ejection. I'll be keeping an eye on the, um, the activity. Now, since about 105.9, immediately faded after that ejection. So that was its last um, swan song, I guess you might say. And if you want to get an idea for what the last few days have looked like, you see you've got this very low uh, activity and then the sudden spike uh, with a fairly significant area under the curve, uh, C-class flare, and then you've got, we continue on with this uh, more energy here. But it's still possible that this will go back down and that there will be an adjustment at the end of the end of this period. It's unclear right now, but I wanted to go ahead and log this uh, new development 